Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm going to maybe go over my seven minute mark by about 20 seconds, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Uh, first poem is called Bloodlines. Self. The method and mode of individuation a la mode. Ice cream, slipstream, melting headlong atop my top down to my toes. But this biological being is seething and screaming with adorned amoebic building blocks as I tuck my socks into stonewashed denim jeans and fashion labels. I claim to be more than this, and assume that my consciousness is above all, is above it all, omniperceptive and tall, taking righteous claim to a story I was told, never proven its weight in gold. We live our lives through blue, green, brown eyes, never thinking that something inside would be our demise. 100% of static fluctuations following fate's follies. You may not believe in fate, neither do I. You may not believe in ESP, but I surely do. There are too many connections in the electromotive force, frequencies laden between particles, wrapped inside of atomic structure. Molecules are static form. Proteins pushing the boundary between inanimate and animate flow. Not alive, not a chemical, but surely they can die. These proteins pinprick the passions of another into the coursing veins of my heart's hearth. Me poor mother. As medical doctor, she only knew so much of the human condition. Old school ideologies separating scalable connections between atomic physics, chemistry, biology, psychology, and religion. She had always wanted to go back to being a good Catholic. The church scorned her for first divorce, forcing my family out of their, ar out of their archetypal belief systems. Poor woman never understood her second son, who was an outright atheist since before the age of one. Sunday school lessons revealing hidden truths and words used to cover up lies, but I knew better. Self-education and glue-on inclinations and Schrodinger cat frustrations versus inadequately calculated Newtonian rules over order. I saw the other side after hypnosis revealed an astral projection of the interconnectedness of life itself. Gaia, in grounded flow to all beings upon this planet. I was prescribed a precognitive lifeline that for the next 20 years to come, a lesson in self-hate, depression, suicidal tendencies, and continual self-destructive behavior were not going to stop. Until about now, that is. Making it to 33, marred memories make their way into sober mind, slowly awakening to the past that I had forced myself to carry on with, even though I was no longer living in it, but just getting by until my prescribed time. Fifteen years old, and two months later, I break my femur. Three days later, the pins fall out, and I lost three of five quarts of blood. Taking transfusion, and modern medicine claiming, what could possibly go wrong? But that transfusion, the assimilation of not just one or two people's bloodlines, but an amalgamation of transfluxing bioetherics, and the variant protein mesh making this new biological entity until cells can be refreshed. It takes over 11 years for this to occur in a human, but it does happen every 11 years to all humans of any kind. But at that time, I knew I was a different person. Could feel the genetic memories of many people's platelets pulsating past capillaries, circulating course, circulation coursing another human's frustrations into a future prophet's mind. And so we are here this day. My poor mother still in dismay, not being able to carry on a peer's conversation with her enlightened son. I miss being ignorant. Blissfully wishing everyone could be like me, thusly forcing my opinions. But this isn't me, nor has it ever been. This extrasensory perception of beings overtaking my body, spirit, and crushing of mind has caused me a perspective that few will ever come to know. But what I truly believe is that we are all the same, no matter what. So please be kind to those around. Remove the toxic friends pulling you down. Cut off the arm that bleeds. Remove the cancer from your life. Even the Bible has much to offer and good lessons to lead a good life. Never forget the book of Matthew and bleed love unto all. Our bloodline is human. Please stay that way. All right.